More than 40 million adults suffer with an anxiety disorder, including PTSD. Depression is the leading cause of disability for people aged 15 to 44. May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and Jasmine Durham joins us in the studio to explain why it's more important than ever to take care of yourself. Hey, good morning, Leslie. So the coronavirus pandemic brings about a lot of added stress, and that's because there's so many unknowns. People are worried about the lockdown, unemployment, finances, taking care of their families. And as time goes on, that stress continues to take a toll on mental health. Now, Dr. Gane, the chief medical officer at Easter Seal, says the best way to take care of your mental health starts with taking care of your physical health. That means getting enough sleep, eating properly, and making sure you're exercising. And not just you, but your family members, too. Right now, it's so easy to fall into a state of loneliness or depression, which is why it's so important to do things to stay connected. Dr. Gane says although the stigma surrounding mental health has decreased, it hasn't gone away. And the important thing is to remember that this pandemic is a shared experience and it's okay to talk about what you're feeling. My hope is that that will make it a little bit easier for everybody to open up with each other about what they're feeling and what they're experiencing. And just the power of talking about what you're feeling can can uh, have a huge positive effect on uh, not only kind of releasing that tension, um, but also building uh, social support around you. Dr. Gane says there are indications of an uptick in suicide, drug and alcohol abuse, and physical abuse. And now more than ever is the time to make sure that you're checking in on your loved ones. And he says it's really important to actually call them or video chat them to find out how they're doing so you can hear their voices or see their faces and then share your feelings too. And also don't be afraid to take advantage of the resources that are out there, including things like telemedicine and at-home mental health screenings. In the studio this morning, Jasmine Durham, MidMichigan.